Anyway guys, in this episode we are looking at AS Level Maths Past Paper Exam questions on solving equations involving exponentials and logarithms. Let's do this. Okay then, first step. The student was asked to give the exact solution to the equation 2 to the 2x add 4 minus 9 times 2 to the x equals 0. We are given a method, part A wants us to identify two errors made by the student. Okay, so they started by writing the equation down. Good first move. In the second line, 2 to the 2x add 4 has become 2 to the 2x add 2 to the 4. That isn't right. So there's our first error. So 2 to the 2x add 4. Is 2 to the 2x times 2 to the 4. Okay. Then in the next line, they've made a substitution. Let y equals 2 to the x. Good idea, because then 2 to the 2x is y squared. So that's fine. However, in line number 4, 2 to the power 4 has become 8, which again is not right. 2 to the power 4 is 16. So there are the two errors. Okay, then part P wants us to find the exact solution to the equation. Alright, so we know we can write this now then as 16 times 2 to the 2x. Two minus 9 times 2 to the x equals 0. Now let's make the substitution. So let y be 2 to the x. So we then have 16y squared minus 9y is equal to 0. Now, factor is that, we can get y times 16y minus 9, and that is equal to 0. So, from that, y is either 0, or Y is 9 sixteenths. Now, let's undo the substitution. So this means either 2 to the power x is 0, or 2 to the x is 9 sixteenths. Now, only one of these is valid. 2 to the x being an exponential graph can never equal 0. So, we would say that 2 to the x can never equal 0. So, now we need to solve 2 to the x equals 9 sixteenths. Okay, now the way that we do that is by using logarithms. So, we can actually use any log here. The quickest way to do it 
with me to use a long bass too. So that cancels out the two on the left. So we can get X is a log base 2 of 9 sixteenths or if we used a different log say we used the natural logarithm we would get a log 2 to the power x is equal to the log of 9 sixteenths using the rows of logs the left is x log 2 and that's log 9 sixteenths and then divide by log 2 so x is a log of 9 sixteenths over a log 2, which is exactly the same as the answer above. Okay, number 2. So this time we are trying to solve a logarithmic equation. So a student's attempt to solve 2 log base 2 of x minus log base 2 of you know, root x equals 3 is shown below, but A again wants us to identify two errors. So the first error is in step 2. Before you can combine logs, they both need to be singular. So because we have 2 log x, minus log of root x, the 2 in the first log needed to go in to make it a log base 2 of x squared. Okay, and then the second error is in the last two lines. So, they have gone from a log base 2 of x is 3, to x equals 3 squared, which is wrong. The number on the right is the power. So they should have got x is 2 to the power 3, which is 8. Okay, then part B wants us to find the exact solution to the equation. So, we have then 2 log base 2 of x minus log base 2 of root x is equal to 3. So the first thing we need to do is make the first log singular. So that becomes log base 2 of x squared and then the second one we can write as a log base 2 of x to the half okay now we can combine the logs so this is now the log base 2 of x squared over x to the half so that gives us a log base 2 of x to the 3 halves is equal to 3. Now to get rid of the log, we now need to raise both sides as a power of 2. So we will get x to the 3 halves 
is equal to 2 to the power 3. Now we can convert both sides. So we get x to the half is 2. And then square both sides, x is 4. I hope this one helped guys. In the next few videos we are going to be looking at modelling with exponentials and logarithms. I hope to see you there. Take it easy. Take care.